My name is Carla Olson and I'm the Executive Director at The Parenting Cottage and I've jotted down a few ideas today that I want to share with you. The Parenting Cottage was founded in 1982 and we became a United Way agency in 2002. Our mission has always been the same, which is to build a strong community by building strong families. And we specifically um, concentrate on the youngest generation of children, prenatal to kindergarten entry. All of the services at the Parenting Cottage are free for families so that anyone can participate. Currently, we serve between 900 and 1,000 families annually with all of our programs. That's about 100 encounters per week with a staff of eight. For over a decade, we've been a part of United Way's efforts to increase school readiness and, and early literacy efforts. And that just means regardless of the children's challenges that we want them to arrive at kindergarten school ready. So the first step in doing that is to make sure that they are born full term and healthy. Second of all, we need to make sure that their family has the ability to meet their developmental needs. So let me share with you a little bit why those first five years are so important. When you look at that on the calendar, it's basically from birth to kindergarten entry, about 1,800 days. So in those 1,800 days, you're going to see the architectural components of brain develop occur in the first three years. And then the rest of that brain growth is going to occur within those next two years. So by age five, 90% of their brain growth has already occurred. Never again in their lifetime will you see a child experience such rapid growth and development in all of their learning domains, such as physical growth, um, gross and fine motor skills, cognitive thinking, verbal skills, uh, social and emotional development. So they, they need all of those things to function in their world and to learn best. So what are parents doing during these first five years? Well, hopefully, if they've had a good role model to learn from, they're meeting those challenges, they're placing their child's uh, needs first, and they're helping their children reach those important milestones. If that was occurring all over Lubbock and every household, there would really be no need for some of the services that we provide. But unfortunately, that's not always what's happening in every home in Lubbock with a young child. So we're working really hard to make that happen, to improve that scenario. So <clears throat> as parents begin expecting and up until age five, we want them to participate in our largest program, Parents as Teachers, which is our home visitation program. This program is highly supported by United Way and has been for quite some time. Home visitation actually came about, about 35 years ago, responsive to these children come showing up at school and not being kindergarten ready. So as our degreed and certified trained educators go into the homes of these children and work with these children one-on-one, -on -one, they, they find, as these first educators did 35 years ago, that there's a lot going on in that home that's contributing to that child not being school ready. Sometimes it's a lack of basic resources in the family, some challenging family dynamics, but in most of those, we also find a lack of parenting skills. So as we go into those homes, we're going to be working with both the parent and the child, teaching the parent to parent better, but also providing that early learning that's needed for the child. We're also gonna show these families how to access resources in the community that's gonna enhance their family's overall stability. We're gonna help those families set some goals. Um, maybe something that they've never done before that they want to change or achieve in their family. Um, a surprise to home visitation after all of these years when it was first developed was we found it also to be the most effective deterrent to child abuse and neglect. So it builds those protective factors between the parent and the child. So in closing, let me share with you just why all of this is so important, both to the children in our community, but our community at large. Because what years and years of research is, um, now confirms for us and what we know is that if your educational limit is, level is limited, then your earning power is also. So these children that can't read by grade level by the time they reach the end of third grade and go into fourth, they're, 
they are at an impasse. They're going to struggle the rest of their academic career. They're, they have a significantly higher risk of dropping out of high school, maybe not attending college or job training. And basically, that's where about one in four of the children in our community are. So we need to remember that today's kindergartner is the next generation of our workforce in our community. They're the next generation of leaders for us. So if we nurture and guide our children and make things better for our children, then we guide our community to that same end. Thanks for letting me share a little bit with you today.